Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and I want to go over another drama situation when it comes to Steam and payment methods. Now the timing of this I just think is really unfortunate from an optics standpoint because everything just happened with uh, Steam, the payment processors, games getting pulled and that's been a complete, uh, just a crap show of a story to cover and just a wild story to cover and I don't think this is a link to that story, however, very very unfortunate that the timing of this uh, will lead people to immediately think that they are linked and that's probably something that anybody would come to a conclusion of that they are linked, but we'll talk about that and speaking of Steam, I do have a bit of an update as far as one of the features on Steam getting a notable update and a very nice one, so we'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, there have been some mentions about PayPal not being a usable payment method in some regions. Now, in uh, America, it seems like you can still use PayPal, no problem. However, in a variety of different regions, PayPal isn't usable, and Steam has responded, Valve has responded with a Steam support purchasing issue. PayPal use on Steam is currently available in my currency. Why? In early 2025, PayPal notified Valve that their acquiring bank for payment transactions in certain currencies was immediately terminating the processing of any transactions related to Steam. This affects Steam purchases using PayPal and currencies other than Euro, Canadian, Dollar, uh, GBP, JPY, uh, uh, the Australian Dollar, and USD. We hope to offer PayPal as an option for these currencies in the future, but the timeline is uncertain. We are also evaluating other additional payment methods on Steam for customers affected by this. In the meantime, please use one of our other current payment methods during checkout. If you can't use any of the available options, you can consider using a Steam wallet code to add funds to your account. So again, and as far as why this is happening, nobody really knows that there's not a lot of info about this. I think everybody that follows what's going on would immediately draw the conclusion to this somehow being linked to the NSF of W games that are coming out or that recently got pulled from Steam. However, PayPal is still usable in the major currencies that a lot of this was tied to. Uh, you can still use PayPal in a region that is utilizing uh, euros, Canadian Canadian dollars, USD, etc, etc. It's a lot of those other regions that are being affected. And while Valve has put out this statement and this response, this response really doesn't give us a lot of clarity as to the why this is happening. And uh, that's usually what we want answers to. Uh, not a lot of transparency here. And maybe Valve and Steam didn't get a level of transparency where they could relay that information to the consumer. But a lot of this, uh, if you go on uh, the r slash Steam subreddit, there's a lot of discussion as to why this is happening. And it was noted by one user, maybe, and again, take the maybe, this is one user's input on it. Maybe they're implementing some sort of local payment. In Malaysia, they removed PayPal and made you buy eClub eCash gift cards instead. We couldn't use PayPal on Steam for almost 10 years now. It sucks, though. My bank would randomly block purchases on Steam on my credit card because they consider Steam high risk, whatever that means. That's actually crazy that's uh, like i've had uh instances of certain payments be blocked because of uh them deeming it a being high risk uh, but I've never had Steam do that, which is kind of insane. You have to call them to unblock Steam, but after a few months, the block comes back up really infuriating. I think I would lose my mind. What that's reminiscent of is like when you go to play a Ubisoft game and you're just signed out of Ubisoft Connect and you got to reset the password. That's what that would remind me of. Like every couple of months that it's not the end of the world, but it's a barrier and a hurdle that nobody wants to deal with and uh, can get very infuriating. But we'll see. Again, that's just one user's uh, in put on why that could be happening or this could be happening, but Valve doesn't give us a lot of clarity. Another user says, out of pure curiosity, I called PayPal's Polish hotline about this, just like people do with Steam and Itch.io games. Short version, the lady insisted I contacted Steam because they were the ones pulling the plug because Steam prefers customers to use their balance. And when I read the information in my Steam shopping card, she got irritated and said she'd provide all the information and then hung up mid-sentence. Well, like, a lot of those customer support people just, uh, they're doing their job day to day, and they don't have a lot of information to work with, and it's probably above them as far as what they're handling. But, uh, yeah, it would be nice to get a little bit uh, more clarity and transparency, but that we cannot have these days. So, unfortunate stuff there. All right, moving on from that. 
A little bit of positive news as far as Steam is concerned. Steam is implementing an update to their performance overlay. Now, the Steam performance overlay has been a little bit under fire uh, as far as performance hits and things of that nature. It seemingly is getting better and better. A recent Steam beta client update, however, announces performance monitor now supports CPU temperature on Windows and Linux on Windows. This requires a kernel mode driver, and there is an option to disable it if you don't want that. The driver is only installed and running when performance monitor is visible at full CPU detail levels and only if you don't disable the driver in the in-game menu settings. I'm sure the kernel mode driver is going to scare a lot of people away from using it, but I believe the other t uh, CPU temp monitors, they all use a kernel level driver, so I get that like the kernel terminology these days really does incite a lot of fear and you know, level of privacy and things of that nature, but you don't have to use it. It is easy to disable in the performance monitor uh, overlay. If you go into the in-game settings, uh, you can either enable kernel driver base metrics, the CPU temperature, or you can turn it off and it's directly available there as a setting. And I like the level of transparency that they do have there, that they're immediately outlining there. It's not a turn off and on on the CPU temperature. If they just listed CPU temperature, some people wouldn't be aware that it was a kernel driver base metric but the fact that they say it outright in the listing in the Steam settings, I actually do appreciate that. The fact that there is that level of transparency and clarity because not everybody is going to be watching my video. Somebody uh, could just be going through the Steam settings and they see something to the effect of CPU temp, enable on and off. They're just going to naturally enable it since they're going to be like, oh, I'm totally fine with seeing my CPU temp. That's actually something I would like to see. But on the standpoint of it being tied to a kernel driver, that might push some people away and that level of clarity being available and just right in the setting. I do appreciate that. So take that for what you will. I know there was quite a lot of controversy with everything going on with Battlefield 6 and it having secure boot and everything like that. But uh, ultimately... Uh, these things do happen, and uh, they're far above my pay grade as far as, oh, the kernel level driver, we, we, we can't be giving them access or anything like that. I just give you guys the news. I'm not here to break it all down. Look, the CPU monitor, uh, temperature monitoring being available on Steam's performance overlay, far overdue, long overdue as far as that. That's one of the key integral stats to monitor like if you're gonna have a performance overlay give us the most uh important stats the more important stats and that is one of the more important stats that anybody is gonna want to monitor especially while playing an intensive game a cpu intensive game yeah that's definitely a metric you want to monitor so good on them to add that but that is gonna do it for me again a big response from valve and steam but how big can you really say it is given that uh you don't get a lot of clarity and transparency as to why this is happening as far as paypal not being eligible to be used in a lot of different regions so take that for what you will and steam's uh performance overlay gets quite a bit of update as now you can monitor the cpu temp as well so that's a nice update you don't have to enable it but uh you can so that will be up to you as far as the beta update that'll be rolling out for everyone in the near future one would think that'll do it for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below as always guys thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.